From the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Nigga, started from the Welcome bottom. Welcome, everyone, to Off the Cuff. I'm Adam Banks. Thank you for listening. This is there's a lot of lot of going lot going on. A lot going on. Sorry, I couldn't spit that out. In the world, and I just cannot wait to get it out to you. First of all, it's Kentucky basketball season starts tonight, Nelly. I know it. I'm I, excited. I'm excited. You they, didn't even tell me how I was here. They are. <laughs> Nelly, ladies and gentlemen, Nelly is with me. <laughs> she loves that intro. I told him about that, didn't I? And she waits for that. And Kentucky basketball season starts tonight. I'm excited. And uh, of course, we talk a lot about Kentucky basketball here on this show, and we will uh, just cover it throughout the rest of the upcoming uh, episodes. But. Nelly, have you heard the latest about Bill Cosby? No. You didn't hear about what happened? Huh. The allegations have come out. What's he done now? Bill Cosby, in his younger days as an actor, while, while he was playing, actually, Dr. Huxtable uh-huh. on The Cosby Show, he was a rapist. There was, there's a woman that has come forth and accused Bill Cosby when she was a young, inspiring actress. Her agent introduced her to Cosby. And she's a very attractive woman, this woman. Very attractive. She's probably 50, but she's very attractive for a 50-year-old. Uh-huh. Seriously, you know, because 50-year-olds can be attractive. And, um, like yourself, Nelly. And uh, she went back to his apartment, and she said that she never saw drugs, but she knew that she was drugged. She said yeah. she just the way she felt... Uh, he would give her wine, and uh, she said that she don't know how it got in her, maybe through the wine, through something. And uh, she vividly remembers her th- in a white t-shirt and her panties throwing up Ooh. because she got so sick. And Cosby would go over there and hold her hair for her in a white robe. She says she remembers that well. And she says she remembers waking up in the middle of the night just being touched, and she didn't want to be, and she would, and she would say... Um, I don't want to be touched, and he would keep doing it. Uh-huh. And she said she felt brainwashed, kind of that he was like a father figure for her. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Some dad. So, um, yeah, so that is crazy. That's the latest about Bill Cosby. I love when I tell you like something that, should, like, that you I can't hardly fabricate, like you're, uh-huh. you're kind of shocked over you go, mm. Yeah, I, mm. I love that. <laughs> That means that's some bad shit. <laughs> so I, you know what? I'd have waited that some bitch would sleep and I stabbed him. Bill ass. Cosby. And I love him. I know. Well, do you love him now? Well, if he did that, I don't. What if he didn't? And if he did, I would poke her eyes out. Yeah, but what if he did? I'd want to poke his out. Yeah, that's crazy. And chop off things. You know who was a good person? Me. No, who was a real <laughs> genuine good person? Who? Mr. Rogers. Oh, I couldn't stand him. Why? That son of a bitch was a pervert. He was not. Mm. He was not a pervert. He was just gross. <laughs> Mr. Rogers? Yeah, he was just a strange old man. He, okay, listen. I used to imitate Mr. Rogers when I was a kid. I used to like, when he would change his sweater, I'd change my sweater. I would like I to change. Stand I could stand to hear like, him talk. Yes. Nobody talks like that, Adam. Yes, he does. He really talks like that in real life. Yeah, but it, that's not right. Why? He just sounds weird. No, he don't. With you. Oh, so well, that's just, he's an old man. Oh, he ate the wooden that day going on? Yes, he was. Oh, Mr. Rogers Lord. was a very he was old, old man. to you, <laughs> not to me. Why, was he your age? I don't know, because <laughs> I never watched him. I couldn't stand him, I told you. You never watched Trolley on the little track and like when they would go Do to that. Do you know how much older I am than you? Okay, what did you watch then? When you were a kid, what did you watch? I watched the Roadrunner and Bugs Bunny. Ooh, and I love Looney Tunes. I watched. That's what we watched. Yes, I watched that too. The dog and with the with yeah, the with Sylvester the, and yeah, that was so funny. Tweety and, and Tweety, yes, Looney Tunes. Cody, I all still, that crap. I still watch Looney Tunes. Like when I wake up in the morning, I'll still watch Looney Tunes. Now we had these people that we watched. It was Uncle Al and Captain Wendy. Mm-hmm. It was our husband and wife. Yeah. And they had a little kid show, and I used to watch that when I was little. And uh, then there was um, Mr. Green Jeans was on it. Mr. Green Jeans, he was the took care of the land. Yeah, that's so weird. You know, uh, my dad bought a house. Yeah, 
Congratulations to my daddy. Just yeah. bought a house in uh, Houstonville. Congratulations, Joe. Houstonville, Kentucky. Do you know where that's at? Over around Danville. Over around Danville, yes. But uh, my dad went home um, the other day, and it just reminded me about how country people are back home when he was telling me some of the stories that happened when he went home. But uh, I'll never forget when I was a kid, I was there, and um, I was with my cousin, who mm-hmm. was a little bit older than me, and my dad. This is back when my dad was dating this girl. And, uh, cause Don't he was, that sound weird? Yeah. It does to me, because I guess because my mom and dad was married so long. Yeah. But for you here, just you have people say, well, my dad dated this. Oh. Normal for me. I was five when they divorced. And I remember... This woman come up to him and and uh, she goes, "Hey Joe, I heard you been a two timing." And uh, Dad said, "No, I ain't been two timing. Who told you that? You know, my dad didn't do that." My cousin right. goes, "She was a real big woman, real fat." My cousin goes, it "Looks like you been two timing around the table." I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> and she's and um, she just looked at him and scratched her leg and walked off. Two timing around the table. Yeah, I was like, "Dang." That means getting. Just fat. Fat, yeah. She was just real fat. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. The gas station that they were at, it was the Texaco back in Colson. The, the Texaco. God, right. I ain't heard of Texaco in years. <laughs> we still got one. <laughs> <laughs> we still got one back on. It's the Texaco. You need to go over there and take a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and, and you stand there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, there was always those gambling machines in there. And there was this guy in there. His name was Dallas. And he had a lip. A fat lip, bottom lip, and it was just always just like hanging like this. Hey. You know, and he, he would just like sit there and play the machines. He'd go in there and spend his whole paycheck playing a gambling machine. Is he white? Yeah, he's white. Ignorant. Ignorant. There ain't no black people back home if that's what you're wondering. Live in your town? No, 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 no. I just, I mean, I think that they would definitely treat them well. I think black people are just scared to move to um, the eastern Kentucky, like the eastern mountains. Kentucky, because they they feel there like, were so many bad things that happened back in the mountains. Back, yeah, but you know, it's there's some good people there. Oh yeah. You want to go? You want to go to eastern Kentucky? I like to see it. Yeah, we should go. You, would you want to? Would you want to live in eastern Kentucky ever? I don't know. I might think about it. Yeah. Maybe when I'm older. You don't want to live there, trust me. Why? It sucks. I lived there 18 years. I I couldn't... Imagine it. Imagine going back there. I'd probably kill myself. I I won't go. Boys, has this weather been off the chain? Hell. Nelly. Mm. This is... This is crazy. I, I don't even... They... Did you hear... See the night? They said anywhere from two to five inches... Uh-uh. They're going to adjust it as the day gets closer, 48 hours out. What? This is supposed to happen Sunday night and Monday. Just the time for you to go back to work and have to drive to Northern Kentucky. Northern Kentucky. Man, my job is stressing me out. It, it, it really is. You should have really pursued something closer. I'm trying, you know. I, I am. But I, sometimes I, I just want to move, you know. I know. You know, like, I, I want you to go with me, though. I was talking to one of our fans, our listeners, and he, he loves you. He does. He loves you. And uh, he's, he says that, uh, you know, you and me make the show. He says he don't like it unless he's listening to me and you, but he loves you. And he uh, says that every time he listens to the show, I talk about moving. Yeah. And he says, and Nelly always says, I'm going with you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he thinks that we're going to end up moving to the same place. Ooh. What do you think? Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, I got to, at my age, I take it a day at a time. Are we still going on our podcast remote broadcast in Nashville? I'm planning on it. Now, are you really? I really am. Because you're, you, oh, bullshit. You're always, um, no, Adam. Huh? I'm telling you. What? I'm saving it. You're saving it for for the... Okay, good. Off the cuff pays you a lot of money. A lot of money. So I don't know where it's going. 
Well, I don't either, because it ain't coming to me. <laughs> oh, it ain't been depo- it's direct deposit. You need to check your bank account. Uh, I'll give you the deposit slip. How many times do you think I checked my bank account? Well, this is an account I probably you didn't know you had. I told you you had it the other day. People, he is so full of crap. So, guess her salary, ladies and gentlemen. What would you think it was? 20, 30, 40, 50? Negative. Try $90,000 a year oh, shit. to do this. <laughs> $90,000 a year. Versus it going up your nose. <laughs> it's going to go up your ass if you don't <laughs> shut up. Because you know what they eat the truth. <laughs> Actually, you goes if I, if, I had a, if I had that kind of money, you think I'd live here? What did I just do? <laughs> I don't know. You snorted online like a hog. Online? On, I mean, on the air. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> why did you do that? I don't know why I did that. It I did quite it. quite strange. After I, I did it. There, I'm, this is the one time I'm glad this is radio. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I don't either. I tried not to look. <laughs> what was that scene on that? Uh, we, we wanted to watch. Uh, we were watching the podcast or not the podcast but the ipad there was a scene that we watched where this guy does something that's weird and we kept rewinding it watching why, like why was he doing that yeah well what was that please think of it please oh, tell Lord me what Adam. that was please i really want to watch it oh it was breaking bad when hector was in the wheelchair and he go he oh yeah like, what, yeah what do you go but what what was that for? Like, yeah. what scene was that? It was always when he was talking to the to uh, the black guy, Gus. Gus. But what what? He was mad at him. What scene was that? Well, it was in. When did I start? What shit? I watched the. Was it the last scene with him and Gus? The la- yeah, getting close to the last scene. No, it was before then. Cause Gus that day to kick me he was a little bit more. Like, you fixing to blow up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you been watching any good television shows? I, my favorite part, though, is when he, when he walks out with half a face. Have you been watching any good television shows? Well, hell no. You don't well, watch? Well, I watched Grey's. Yeah, how was that? That was good. And everybody's getting ready to do the winter clothes down, you know. Oh, be, the I winter like finale. That shit. <laughs> I do too. I've got because... three episodes of the Sons of Anarchy left. That's about to kill me. So, I think if a show premiered during that winter break, it would get a lot of ratings. That's something you need to watch so you can talk to people on air about Sons what? of Anarchy. There's a lot of fans out there. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Three really? more episodes. Three more episodes and it's done. Seventh season. It's finished, right? Or yep. the seventh it's season's done. over? It's done. They're in it. Seven, it lasted seven seasons? They said the beginning of it was nothing like how good it got, you know, over time. But yeah. I, I want to see the whole thing like I did with Breaking Bad mm-hmm. all at one time. Which was better, Sons of Anarchy or Breaking Bad? They both were just so good. Yeah. I mean... Breaking Bad was amazing. It was. It was just so but, crazy how he... But to me, it, it's on a whole different level. Yeah. Sons of Anarchy was amazing. Right. So, I mean... Yeah. These crime... The shit and what people do because they love some crazy shit people do. These crime... Because they love somebody or something. Yeah, these crime dramas are crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for listening to the show. I'm Adam Banks. Nelly, thank you for joining. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Sugar, I've been grinding that side out there with my niggas. And I ain't going in, it's a real mind, nigga. Mind, nigga, mind,